So 700 AHL games. How do you feel about that? Um, pretty cool. Um, uh, kind of, I've always felt uh, privileged to play at this level. Um, obviously, the dream for everybody is to play in the National Hockey League, but uh, I take a ton of pride in earning my way to play in this level and uh, kind of sticking around. Um, I think um, at the end of the day, there's different ways to measure success. And for me, I'm going to. I love playing hockey. Um, it's kind of from my old man to, to now my kids. Um, it's fun to bring them to the rink. Um, and I enjoy it so much at the end of the day. This league's going to have to kick me out of the league when I'm done. So, um, I'm, uh, I, I don't take it for granted that uh, I've had these opportunities. What would you say has been the highlight, you know, being here in Grand Rapids for the last se three seasons of that, of that career for you? Easily the Calder Cup. Um, different points in my career, um, I, I had different motivations to, uh, and I moved around a lot. Um, early on in my career it was to give myself an opportunity to become an everyday American League player. Um, I, once I was able to do that in Cleveland, I readjusted my goals and it was to give myself the best chance to play in the National Hockey League and that brought me to Washington's organization and Philadelphia's organization. And, um, I wasn't uh, able to take that next step, but uh, from there it kind of turned into what's a good fit for me. Where, where can, uh, where am I going to be happy? Where am I going to be part of good hockey teams? And within a few years, I found myself here following Todd Nelson, and I've always found this organization to be a, a team that believes in uh, developing through winning, and that's obviously something I want to be part of. I know my role in this organization is to um, push these kids along, help the team win down here, and uh, show guys the right way to be a pro. And I, I try to do that on a daily basis, but you look at all the vets in this room, um, there there's a good strong core group of guys here. And uh, there's some young guys that are mature amongst their years and it kind of makes it easy to do that. And out of, I mean, your role here, obviously, like you were saying, is to kind of help them develop and, and mature. Um, where would you see the biggest impact of that being? Is that more of an on-the-ice kind of role, or is that more in the it's, locker room behind the scenes? It's the day-to-day. -day. It's the, the games are part of it, but um, learning how to be a pro, um, the games showing the consistency, but then showing it that you, you have to come here and compete every day. You're, you're competing not amongst not only this league but amongst your peers because it's one of the most competitive leagues because everybody wants to, to move up and, and they're that close. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have you know times where you know you try to come out and be an exceptional player game after game you know being in the leagues for so long and being pros for so long do you ever have those days where it's just it's just not happening and, and how do you muscle through that? Um, you kind of just have there, there's days you don't have your A game I would say maybe a third of your games either you, you don't feel 100% whether it's health or you just don't have it and you that's kind of when you talk to these guys that those are the games you have to find a way to kind of be be a teammate and kind of find a way to contribute to your group mm -hmm. and out of the young guys are there anything that you know you can kind of in reverse pull from them and how they play to kind of you know adapt your game to I mean part of the reason I'm still playing is because I have fun coming to the rink every day and this group of guys makes it fun it, it's lighthearted we have a good room that's we we from the coaching staff to the players um, you look at the push we've made recently um, we never hit the panic button and I think we're starting to hit our stride at the right time we knew as a young group and the youngest group I've been a part of the American League and probably one of the youngest groups that this uh, Grand Rapids has had in a long time. You knew there was going to be inconsistencies at time, and you, you have to say, keep going, keep going, don't don't get discouraged. we got to kind of lot, not lose focus of the goals and live in the moment, and they're cliches, but that's the way you have to to do it to be a pro, I think. And you, you see our youngest guys are starting to make the biggest strides and being impact players for us right now. And having Brian Lashoff back, he's one of those core leaders that you've had you know, several years of experience with. What difference has that made, You know, even though it's just been one game so far? Ste steady presence. I mean, that guy's, uh, I would say, Mr. Griffin. Um, he's, he's been there 
for you know whether he's in Detroit or here he's been a huge part of this organization you know not only can I think he play in the NHL and, and be productive and help an NHL team but when when he's here we're fortunate to have him because um, not only is an impact player I think in playing against him you see it little things in his game because he's so strong um, a lot of people don't know us how strong he is in front of the net boxing guys out and those are things the little things that I think you look at a Mo Side or a Lindstrom, these guys are picking up from him on a day-to-day -day basis, and he's a very valuable part of this group and this organization.